All right, if you're sitting A-level maths soon this year and you actually want that A-star, this video is for you. We're about a month and a bit away from some people's exams, but you're not too late to start studying seriously now. Just apply the five tips I'm gonna be giving in this video because they actually come from experience. And this is exactly what I wish I would have known before I started my exams because it would have made my life 10 times easier. Here are my grades. I had to study a lot, it wasn't easy, and it probably won't be for you. But just listen to these tips, apply them as soon as you can, and hopefully they'll help. Now let's talk about tip number one, which is about how you should be approaching studying maths. You obviously need to solve problems. That's the backbone of maths, and that's why I enjoy studying it the most, to be honest. Watching videos and making notes are all methods of learning the content. They help you clear your thoughts and get your understanding really organized to see how everything fits together like a puzzle, but it's not going to get you to the point of doing well in maths exams at all. My favorite indicator of knowing when you've completely studied a topic is to just have solved so many questions on that topic that the questions start becoming repetitive and boring to you. Because at the end of the day, there's only so many questions that examiners can ask. And so if you start doing so many problems that it's getting repetitive, that means you've covered most of them. And then the only really tricky questions you find in the exam are the last two that are made for the people who have a really deep understanding of the maths and are able to apply their knowledge really well to new scenarios. My second tip is super simple, but people tend to avoid it anyway. And it makes sense because it is to do hard questions. Go onto Google, type in the name of the topic you want to study you'll find difficult and type madass maths next to it. Click on the first link that comes up and you'll be shown a bunch of questions relating to that topic that get harder as you scroll down. You'll have a number of stars next to each question. The more stars it has, the trickier it is. If you're really trying to get an A star, I recommend literally just working your way up to the five star plus questions. Those tend to be the very last questions of some papers or maybe even a little trickier. Point is to do as many difficult questions as possible because these are the questions that are actually gonna help you learn and make you make mistakes. And once you get into the rhythm of being able to do the harder questions, you're gonna find the easier ones way easier. And those are the questions that make up most of the papers anyway. And then you can focus more of your efforts into the last couple questions that most people aren't gonna get the mark for. Now's the time to stop being lazy and actually do those questions at the end of the end of chapter textbook questions that have a little star next to them. I promise you it's worth putting in the effort to learn those because once you've done the easier ones the harder ones are the ones that are going to deepen your knowledge of the topic so much more. Now here's a tip that's similar to the last one because it's on the same theme of hyper focusing on the hard parts especially your mistakes. While you're working hard going through as many practice questions and past papers as possible keep a document next to you and this document is going to be filled with just a bank of questions that you found difficult or just got wrong. They're the ones you're going to need to come back to later. Save these so that when there's a couple days before the exam and there's not much more you can do, you can just give them your best go one more time and make sure you can do them but also understand why you got them wrong so that you don't make a similar mistake again. While you're doing the rest of your revision you can come back to this document at random times and try and just keep it as minimal as possible. Just take a look at it and any questions that you feel like you definitely could do and are really comfortable with just remove them and focus on the rest. Never waste time doing questions that you can already do. My fourth tip is to go through your studying with the intention that you're actually understanding the content and not just memorizing as you go along. One of the ways of studying maths that I know a lot of people use and is actually admittedly really useful is to just make a note of some of the really common methods you're probably going to end up using. You might just want to put it on a card so that you can memorize it and really be able to quickly retrieve it when you want to use it anytime. A lot of textbooks will just have some of the really important methods to answer some specific questions at the top of the page so that you can then refer to them when the topic questions follow. But the dangerous part about embracing this method of learning concepts in maths is that you end up not actually understanding those concepts and you now only know how to answer questions that ask the same question but just with different wording. And when the questions get really hard you're going to end up tripping because it's nothing like you've ever seen before and you'll just stare at the question blank. But to be honest, there isn't really a specific way of making sure you understand. It just basically comes down to solving more problems. It comes back to my point of solving problems so many that you just get bored of it. But also try and be smart when you go about this. Try and find more difficult, more abstract problems where the methods you have to use aren't as obvious as the ones you've seen in the question. And my fifth and final tip addresses a mistake that most students make, not just when it comes to maths, just any subject. And that is not redoing practice questions that they've already done. See, the thing is, if you sit a paper one day, there's still a close to 0% chance that you're gonna get 100% the second time you sit it in like two weeks. Go back to tip number three, add screenshots of all those questions that you found difficult. You're never actually gonna get 100% in a paper. You can just keep redoing those papers until you do. Keep going through the mark schemes because aside from giving the question your best go, that's the second best thing you could be doing. I also find not only mark schemes to be really useful, but like sample solutions, PMT has some, but just seeing like a sample solution that a real human's written 
can be really useful to some people. But yeah, those are my five tips gone over as quickly as possible because you need to go back to or start studying if you haven't already. Close YouTube, turn on your desk lamp, get all the practice papers you're gonna need, get a drink, and just try and sit at your desk and get as much work done as possible for the rest of the day. Hopefully these tips helped. Subscribe and drop a like if they did. Huge thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.